Hi, this is video number eight. So now we are going to use our function to get all of the data. And then we are going to show the data in the, our HTML template. So let's turn back to here. So instead of calling this function like this, so I'm going to just define car link here like this. All right, so let's delete this parenthesis. So now we can just call our function and our function return with the list, as you can see from here, return car list. So I'm going to create here another variable. So let's say car underscore list. You don't have to use the same name because of the scope of the functions. You can use any name that you want, but I'm going to prefer the same name. So let's say car list is equal to the update cars with this link car underscore link all right so uh, it's going to run like this if we have the csv file of or if we have uh, older than 20 minutes if we don't have the csv file or if we have the csv file but if we have it older than 20 minutes then it's going to get all the data from the website but if we have the csv file and if it is newer than the 20 minutes then it's just get the data from the csv file so uh, the second step should be the pass the data to the html template but before this i'm going to just try to try to use the update cars function so let's say here at this moment let's say car lists i'm going to print out this list to see if everything is okay or not so let's save this and stop our server and then run our server all right so let's click this link now now it opens this browser with the first page after waiting for a few seconds it's going to go for the second page now the next 20 cars and then it's going to go for the third page all right this is the last page and we don't have anything yet in our HTML template, but we should see the output in PyCharm in the terminal. We have these lists, including the dictionaries for every item. For example, this one is the first car, all right, which has the year 2020. And also we have our CSV file, as you can see, and we have our color, price, location, and all of these cars listed in a dictionary like this we have all of these values all right this is good now we have and these codes 200 is uh, for the successful uh, successful returns all right so the everything is okay now the red doesn't mean the error here and we have i think all of this data in our csv file so let's click this one to see the what we have in the file we have the first line with the headers so the name of the columns actually and we have commas as separator between the values and we have all of these 44 cards all right now we can do something in the index.html file and now all of the values is going to come from is this from the csv file for the next 20 minutes so let's come to here stop our server and then i'm going to use the bootstrap in our html file to make it everything beautiful all right so let's go to google and search for the bootstrap you don't have to do this part it's just for the visualization i'm going to click this get started link and then i'm going to copy this link to the css file and i'm going to import it 
into my HTML templates inside this hat section like this. So now I have now the bootstrap CSS library in my uh, HTML template so I can continue to use it. So let's create a container first. As I said, this part is just optional. All right. And I think we have forgotten to send the data to the HTML file. HTML file. So actually, uh, it's going to be good if we do it first. So let's send this title. And besides, we should send the cars. So let's say with the variable name cars, I'm going to say I'm going to send the car on the score list. All right. So we can use now this lists, including the dictionaries read it from read, uh, read from the CSV file. All right. So let's turn back to the HTML part. And now we have our container. So inside this, we can create a new row. This part is optional. I'm repeating. So I'm going to create here another div with the width of the 90% of the page like this. And I'm going to create here a header with the title itself. So let's say close aligned center and the value, sorry, the value should be title like this and let's put here an horizontal line and here after putting the title i'm going to generate a scatter plot actually uh, with the kilometers and the price so i'm going to generate the plot first with the python side in the python side but for now i'm going to just try to see the data in the HTML site. So I just want to write here image for this moment and I'm going to change this with the proper uh, image. So let's continue with another div. So let's say div class and it's going to be table responsive. So it's going to be a responsive table including all this data coming from the website or CSV file. So let's create our table now. Let's say table class table. So if you don't want to use bootstrap, you can just start with this table tag from here instead of this div. All right. After body in the body section, you can just have this table. All right. So let's start with an adding. So let's say T hat, which is the hat section of this table and add here a row with TR table row. And then uh, define our names of columns. So, so let's say th table hat. And the name of the first column is year. And then kilometers. And color. And price. and location all right now we have our header so after creating header we are going to create our table body now so let's say t body and for every car for each car we are going to create a row with tr so we should use a loop here we should define a loop here right so i'm going to use this curly brackets again and then use the percentage symbol so with the notation of jinja2 which is the template engine for flask we can create a loop by using four keywords like we did in the python site actually so we can say for car in cars for example we have all the cars in this variable cars so you can say for c in cars or for a in cars for i in cars it doesn't matter i just say for car in cars all right so for each item 
I'm going to create a new row. So let's say TR. And then I'm going to use TDs, the columns for every car. So let's use the variable now. So let's use the double curly brackets. And for every car, we are going to have a dictionary. So to reach the values inside the dictionary, we are going to use the keys, as you know. So the car, that's the name of the key. So the name of the key for year is year. And then the second column should include the kilometer value of a car. So let's say car.km. Sorry. And the next one should be car.color. And the next one should be car.price. And the last one should be sorry, car.location. All right, now we have all of these data. So after closing the row, we should end the loop. So let's again the curly bracket and then the percentage symbol. And now our keyword to end this for loop is end for. All right, now we have our loop. So now we have our cars.csv and it's uh, not older than 20 minutes but I'm going to be sure actually I'm going to change something in this file to makes us not waiting for coming from the website actually all right so let's start our server and click this link to see the output all right now we have all this data in a responsive bootstrap table so now the next thing is create generate a scatter plot in the python site and i'm going to send this file to the html site so now we are ready to visualize the data i'm going to put the kilometers values in the x-axis and I'm going to put the price in the y-axis because I just want to find the optimal price of a Citroen C3 Aircross with the engine 1.5 Blue HDI diesel engine with the fill trim package because I have one of them and I want you to find the optimal price to sell my car. All right. Let's continue with the next video.